Um, Coach Lee is a lot more calm. Um, Coach Lee is also extremely invested in who we are as young. I'm not saying that Coach Echo was not, but um, Coach Lee is extremely invested. That's just his, his, uh, that's just his, his coaching style, but extremely, extremely invested as us as, as young men in the whole, our whole body of work, whether it be on the field, off the field, in the classroom. Um, just the way that we go about doing things day to day. Very, very encouraged and uh, excited about things that guys do off the field as well. Um, and, and making sure that, that we that we that we live up to that expectation, the standard that we set for ourselves each and every day, on and off the field. Seems like he runs a lot, you guys just like Yeah, very energetic, man. Coach Lee see everything, man. You don't even realize he'll come over, he'll just like get out of the out of the crowd, he'll just come over, hey, good job on that last player. Hey, like you know what I'm saying, correct this, that, or but Coach, Coach, Coach Lee sees everything, man. I love Coach Lee. I'm enjoying his uh, his coaching style. And how are you looking to just elevate your game? This year um, as compared to last year. Yeah, uh, one thing. Uh, well, I have a couple things. Uh, one is block destruction, uh, getting getting in and off, being physical at the point of attack with uh, blocks, uh, getting off blocks, hand uses and pass rush, and uh, just just those those two those two things specifically. Uh, and just the overall physicality and, and and really just being able to blow up plays, uh, just being a, just being a force, just being more of a force on the defense. And, and working to, you know what I'm saying, just, just being physical day in, day out, and, and uh, letting those things just, just kind of like play itself out during practice, you know, seeing, just playing with that. With Elko moving on, how, I guess, how big was it for you guys to have, I think it's nine or ten starters who are returning from last year's defense to sort of keep that chemistry amongst you guys? Um, I think that's huge, man. I think we only lost, what, an ounce? We only lost one guy, so, um, and Tavon moved over, and, and so I, I think it's, it's been great. I mean, Coach Elko's philosophy last year was always having the twos ready just like the ones. So because we knew that the twos would eventually, you know, especially with the D-line as much as we rotate, um, it's, 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 it's huge for those guys to be mentally prepared and physically prepared to go ahead and fill in for those roles when guys leave to be able to step up and make plays. Jalen, how much better of an understanding do you feel that you have for the drop back position? Oh, man, I, I mean, just this, from this time last year or even from the uh, end season, I think, it's something that I've become extremely, extremely comfortable in. Uh, just being in the set position, the DN position, uh, being converted from linebacker from high school, mm -hmm. and really just going into my third year of playing the position, I really feel comfortable and confident in what I'm doing each and every day. So it's, it's showing in my play just how fast I'm able to diagnose and be able to react and go ahead and uh, just make plays. What are the biggest challenges of that position? Um, I just think the, the, the physicality of it. I'm up to uh, 260. About 260, 260, 263-ish. Um, and last year I was kind of too, I was like about 249. So about uh, just the physicality of the position in and out and and being able to disrupt blocks and get off blocks and shed blocks and being able to be a playmaker, I think it's been huge for me this offseason.